I just came back with all of this stuff from Home Depot, which you know what this wood is gonna be. I'm so excited to try and make a console table. So I just got these pieces of pine. I got them cut for free at Home Depot, as I'm sure most of you know, you can get um, your wood cut. I have a plan for these pieces of wood and how I'm gonna try and make the console table. And then I got a couple of these to replace the horrible boob lights that we have in our hallway. These were only like like six dollars each so my plan is I'm going to spray paint this uh, mount part gold and I think it will just kind of elevate the look of them for super cheap very excited about that and then I got this really fancy light bulb for a thrifted find that I have yet to show you. I found this awesome lamp. How cool is this for $4? It needs some cleaning up and that's what I'm gonna have to do to it. So I'm gonna try and use some Brasso to try and um, clean it up, make it shine again. And that's what I bought this really fancy bulb for. So I've got three projects for myself. Wish me luck on all of them, but mostly the console table. <laughs> really long time of polishing. I think that it looks pretty good. I mean, it's definitely not perfect. There are a ton of imperfections and there's still some tarnish that you can see and you can see how, it, how it's plated and it has imperfections, but it's super shiny now. And you know, I kind of want to avoid spray painting it because you know, it's like a little old treasure. And I think that it looks good enough to just keep like this. If it, if it bothers me after a while, I might spray paint it, but I think that it looks overall like really nice and shiny and cool. So I wanna see how it looks with this really cool light bulb that I have. Okay, now starting on the console table. My hubs is being the best and he's gonna create some metal brackets um, 90 degrees to put on the inside of um, the angles of the console table. So we'll get into that in a little bit. We tried to like figure out the best way to keep the waterfall design without having any screws or holes showing. So hopefully these brackets will work out. So let's go see what he's done. Okay, check these guys out. Ian just made all of these by hand, hammered them into perfect 90 degree angles and drilled some holes in them. So talented, so strong. Thank you, Ian. So we're gonna put these on the inside angles of the table so that you won't be able to see these really. You'll just be able to see them from under the table. So before I put these on, I have to sand down all of my pieces of wood so that they are ready to be assembled. that everything's all sanded, I'm gonna put the brackets on the underside of the top of the table here. You know, measure them out equally and then um, mark those so that we can screw them in um, equally. got the four brackets screwed in. It's sort of wobbly now, but we're gonna flip it over and see how stable it is. Yeah, yeah it definitely has a wobble to it. <laughs> That's for sure. I like how it looks for sure, but I don't know. I think we're gonna have to think of something else to make it a little bit more stable. <laughs> Ian 
Ian made those brackets for the back corners and then he also added a third bracket on each of the sides on the underside. So this is not finished for sure, but I think it's looking good so far. Sometimes like you get an idea and you just wanna like jump in and try it, <laughs> which is not the best thing to do when making furniture. <laughs> Okay, I'm just, I'm laughing at myself. I know that this is like a really weak table right now, but you know what? It's standing and I can put things on it. So we need to figure out a way to make this look look and be a bit more sturdy. I also need to stain it. I've been having troubles with the stain. So I tried staining it and I had it sanded like it was bare wood. This is pine and, and I stained it three times and like let it sit like eight hours in between the stains. Anyway, it's like not taking the stain. So I just have to, I have to figure that out cause I don't want it to be like this bare wood color. Um, it doesn't really go with their family. So, um, this is a to be continued. <laughs> I need help figuring out what to do to this table. It sort of worked out and I think it's gonna work out in the end. So shoot me ideas in the comments of what I could do to this table. <laughs> Guess what? The boob lights are out of the hallway, as you can tell. <laughs> Isn't this a great idea? I just thought of it just now. <laughs> Anyway, the new lights look so great. Ian, thank you so much for installing them. Lights were like six bucks. They were super quick to install as well. And they look so good. They fit the hallways, like they're barely hallways. These little sections of the house are super small and I just think that they fit really well and just look a little bit better than these titty lights. <laughs> Very happy about that. Okay, so about the office. Oh man, I really wanna get started on it because we got a new desk in here so that Ian and I can both be in here and have our stuff separated. It's really, really nice. I want to paint this room, so I need to pick out a paint color. And if you guys watched the first like empty house tour, you'll know that I wanna do this room in a really dark kind of sultry calming color and um, I just can't decide on the color. So I either wanna go with a very dark, like musky kind of blue or a dark like pine forest green. I think that they're both really beautiful, calming colors and give off the kind of mature office vibe that I'm going for, if you will. Yeah, this room needs hella help, it really does. Oh man, wish me luck picking between these colors cause I am stumped right now. I love them both. All right, Ian. Dark blue or dark green for in here? Dark green. Do you like the green better? Mm, dark blue. I like this. <laughs> I think blue too. Okay, blue's the winner. It's a new day. We're back in the office. Remember how I said that the paint color was chosen? It is not <laughs> because I have two paint samples here and I just taped some craft paper onto the wall to paint these two on to get an idea of what they're gonna look like. I'm mostly worried about how dark and like how blue they're gonna look. So, you know, it's always a good idea to get paint samples. These were literally a dollar each at Home Depot. So I like doing this with craft paper because then you can move the color like around in the room and see how it looks on different places where it's darker or the sun hits more. So we'll see how they look. I'm really stumped right now because this color looks nothing like it does in the card and that's a real bummer. Um, so I'm just gonna wait until they both dry completely and then move them around and see how they look. This is why it's always good to get paint samples, especially when you're going with such a bold color because you never know how they're really gonna look in the room on the wall with the sunlight in the room. <sighs> no, your eyes do not deceive you. Yes, there are two new blue color samples on the wall here. Picking out a color this bold is no joke. <laughs> but you know what? I am so glad that I made it yet another trip to the hardware store to get some more samples because, oh my gosh, I almost chose the brightest blue and it's no good.
Long story short, I ended up not liking the darker color um, that I was talking about earlier. It was too teal for me. Personally, I don't like teal and I'm looking for a more, I guess just darker navy with a bit of gray in it, not a bit of green. And that's what this color um, ended up being. I wanted this room to feel moody. I wanted it to feel like an angsty teenager when you walked in here in a good way. And that's what this color is going to do for this room. I just know it. So I'm very happy about getting these other color samples. Okay, so here's the thing. This room is an absolute wreck right now. Um, there's a literal mattress in here. <laughs> the reveal of this paint color is not um, very exciting. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. This paint color was a success and I'm very happy with how it looks. My favorite part about this room is that I painted the door and the trim around the door. So it just kind of feels super cozy. I don't know, I just really love this door painted. So you can see a better kind of look how the paint looks on the wall and I just love it. So this is just one big to be continued video because I mean, you know, design takes time and that's okay. I have a lot of plans for this room and I have a lot of plans for our second bedroom, which might be another office remodel. Foreshadowing, stay tuned. I have a lot of ideas with so little time and I promise that I will eventually get to them all. But in the meantime, please help me with the console table so that I can get at least that finished. I need help with that. Thank you so much for watching and all of your help and suggestions. I really appreciate them and I will see you guys soon.